So I'm live, I think. So my name is uh, Nick Reinveld, CEO of uh, Optics 11. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our uh, optical fiber acoustic, acoustic sensing system. So what do we do? We make products based on uh, optical fiber interferometry and all optical transducers. So you're probably familiar with the benefits of measuring with optical fiber. You know, you can withstand some, uh, some uh, harsh environments, you can go long distance, you don't have any EMC problems, and you can make very small sensors. Um, what we present here is a, quite a new development. It's something else than most of the other guys in optical fiber sensing do. It's based on interferometry. So what we do is we use optical fiber, uh, fiber break gratings, but not to look at that point, but two fiber break gratings to define a zone that is sensitive for strain. And when I say sensitive, I mean like femto strain level sensitivity. And because we use interferometry, we can go up to one megahertz of, uh, of sampling. So that gives us access to acoustic emission uh, signals. So this is the readout right here. This is my bubble maker. Um, what you can do with a fiber that, where you can define these zones between FBGs, you can make small sensors. Like you see here in the presentation, in the middle you see a hydrophone, which consists of like five meters of fibers wrapped around a tiny little cylinder, where you can make an acoustic emission sensor that is tiny, just based on five meters of fiber. Or you can embed the fiber in a composite and then look for those, uh, those hundreds of kilohertz signals and to do acoustic emission measurements. Well, where can you apply it? Uh, crack detection in uh, composite structures, high-speed uh, train wheel damage detection, uh, leakage detection, underwater sonar positioning, so hydrophones, and, uh, and some more uh, applications. Let me switch uh, to the demo. That should be on the screen right now. All right. So what you see here, this is the interrogator. This is the fiber. Um, this one is like two meters. It can be 40 kilometers long if you want. It really works at that distance. This one is uh, basically a transducer built out of fiber wound around the outside and we're listening to bubbles. So we're listening to the creation of the bubbles and that's the pulses that you see on the top left of the screen. And we can actually uh, if it all works, we can listen to it. Let's switch on the sound. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Good. So those are the bubbles coming by. And now they're gone. There and back. Okay, and I can show you. I'm not going to break a pencil because it's going to be too loud. I just tap to the side. There you are. It's pretty direct. So you can pick up those acoustics just by this fiber wound around it. You probably pick up my voice now as well. So you can imagine any kind of acoustic emission measurements you can do with these systems. And you can put a lot of them in a row. So you can do up to 10 sensors with this system. All right. Switching back to the presentation. So let me just end with uh, very quickly about another system we developed, which is also optical fiber sensing, but then you have very tiny accelerometers, so acceleration sensors, like a 1D or a 3D sensor that is this big and you can put up to 30 in a network. And we're kind of uh, launching that monitoring applications and seismic, seismology applications, but also in some wind energy uh, gearbox monitoring uh, applications. So that was my demo. Thanks for your attention and stop by on booth uh, number nine when you're interested. Thank you very much. Very impressive. This morning we heard we could, we could uh, qualify beer with guided waves, so it looks like you